Uh, okay, so the job that we got from Merc, um, we have the doctor's papers that he needs, right? So we could just turn them in right now without having to wait for him in the next night or waiting for him the next night. Um, so let's see about that. He says, so is that little business with Dr. Henry done? Yeah, got the papers you want. He says, days like this make me so happy. Well, let's conclude our business. He says, well, success on your ventures. I see no reason for us to talk again. Fine by me. Uh, so <clears throat> let's talk to him again. Oh, here we go. Uh, so for some reason, the, the order of the quest was a little off because I decided to uh, throw down with Lenny and kill him. <laughs> the the super mutant that I had the fist fight with. Um, and he gave me the quests a little bit out of order as a result, I think. Because I'm supposed to take care of the hubologist that gave me the, the Zeta scan. Um, I'm supposed to assassinate her. Um, so I believe I can look for work. And then he says, are you that stupid? You think I'm just going to hire anybody? You work for me, prove you're good, you're good for something. Prove like how? He replies, like, I've got problems that need solving. Such as? Such as, there's a dang hubologist in town that has irritated me once this itch is scratched. Come back and talk to me. Consider it done. I've got just the back scratcher for him, but what's in a hubologist and where do I find him? Merc replies, a hubologist is a nutcase religious fanatic. It can be found at the church in town. I'm on my way. Okay. Yeah, so there, it was a little glitchy there, but we did manage to get the uh, the other quest from Merc. So no problems there. Question is, well, first we got to wait until daytime, which we're going to do. But I, I think I am going to wait until daytime, trade with Buster right? I believe this is Buster. Are these the Gunrunners? I'm wondering if these are the Gunrunners. Because I, I saw that somewhere in the in the, the forums that I was reading. But we'll figure that out later. Okay. Grabbed a whole bunch of stuff off of Sulik. Organized some stuff. Now I'm going to rest and maybe it'll be daytime. Uh, Two more hours. There we go. 10 a.m. should be good enough for Buster to be open. Let's speak to him, see if that works. There we go. Okay. Let's do a little trade, shall we? Okay. I'm going to make you carry carry the rest of this here. Cassidy, thank you. See, there we go. Okay. Lots of inventory management to be had now that I have three companions uh, at my back watching it, sometimes shooting it. I forgive them because they do a lot of damage, often to the enemy. What you be needing? You but I need you to put your weapons away, fellas. Because now we're gonna go back into town. What do you want? Yeah. What? Not a problem. And maybe commit a little uh M U R D E R A S S A S S I N A T I O N. Is that, is that how you spell assassination? <laughs> d d not everybody's literate here, so I'm, I'm trying to be sneaky about it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> My goodness, that took forever. Okay, but we had the frame rate thing again. Don't worry, the game still works just fine. So, this is where the Hubologist resides. Oh, we need to go talk to the Rangers first. We need to be a good person before we're a bad person. Uh, we'll we'll see what our karma does. <laughs> if it goes weep woo, that's the sound of going up and down. We're at five seventy seven now. We'll talk to the Rangers. Get officially uh, added to the the new California Rangers or the NCR as they're known. Yes, that's what NCR stands for. Uh, speak to you. Uh, she says I've heard the news already. You freed the slaves. Good work. So you ready to become a Ranger? Yes. Do you swear to fight slavery wherever the opportunity arises and help your fellow rangers whenever they're in need? Yes. Congratulations, you're now a ranger. Well, that was easy. Okay. 587. That was 10 bonus karma. And I have a ranger pin. This pin says you're an official New California Ranger. Look, it's got a code wheel and everything. <laughs> awesome. 
Uh, now, uh, if there's like a slave caravan, uh, they're probably going to be automatically hostile towards me now that I have this ranger pin. So I did kind of just make the game harder for myself. But you know what? We're just about to level 15. I think we'll be okay. Combat's going to get a heck of a lot easier at level 15. Or a heck of a lot uh, more efficient? I want to say more efficient. I'm trying to get Marcus in the door <laughs> so I can close it. We need some privacy with this, uh, this follower of the hub. I'm going to see if I can do this in one go. Because uh, I did a little testing, I'll be honest. I did a little bit of testing. Just just to make sure that I that I remember how to do it. I have to make a save first, though, for the Hubologist assassination. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate sneak. Sneak over to this corner here. Then sneak down to the pulpit. I don't like how close you are, so look. This is this might be hilarious. And then we'll drop the explosive and we'll get noticed by the hubologist. This is what I was worried about. So we're going to reload. Thing is, we're not supposed to get noticed by the hubologist because then the guards outside will immediately know that I did something bad. We're trying to prevent that. So maybe I'll try it from over here by the door and push Sulik out of the way so I have a, a spot to run to. Nope. Didn't work that time either. I swear it's going to work. <laughs> Imagine an entire episode trying to blow up one homologist. Imagine. That might be the case here. <laughs> Let's find the magic pixel. Let's do it. Ah! Ha ha ha! Maybe it's because Sulik was standing in the way. Ha ha ha! You gain 2,000 2, experience for taking care of the Hobologist for Merc. For slaying your opponents, you earn 60 experience points. And now, I step outside. The guards didn't hear a thing. Must be the, the, the bustling town uh was was too loud for the uh for the explosive or they're just turning away and not paying attention to it there was one one string of dialogue that i forgot to do with um uh, this gentleman here the sheriff of the ncr so i'm gonna talk to him again uh sheriff dumont i believe i'm looking for some honest work could you help me he says i can think of a couple of things if you're really interested like what? He says, well, there's Depo at Stockman's. He does the hiring for the Brahmin drives. Then there's Mr. Weston. If you talk to him, tell him I sent you. Even President Tandy's been asking around for some help. Weston, you say? Dumont says, Roger Weston. His spread's just out the West Gate. He's been having some problem with varmints. He'd take care of it himself, but his health ain't what it used to be. Bad ticker, Doc Jubilee says. That's some useful information, by the way. So now that I've talked to the sheriff... I can speak to this guard and actually get through the gate. He says, this is private property. Please move along. Excuse me, but who lives here? The guard says, this is the Weston Ranch, home of the Councilman Weston. I need to see the Councilman, please. What business do you have with Mr. Weston? I'm uh, looking for work, and I hear he's hiring. The guard says, hmm, I seem to remember something about work being available. All right, come in. Don't cause any trouble, though. I'll be watching you. Thanks. He's going to walk all the way over to the terminal. I remember this part. <laughs> Because he's so just lackadaisical about it. Thank you, guard man. I appreciate it. And uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's go over here. Talk to uh, this guy here first. Salt, salt beef. You remember uh, somebody mentioned salt beef, Bob. He says, howdy, stranger. Who are you? He says, name's Bob. Salt beef, Bob. Yep. How about you? Kato. He says, that's fi a right fine name. Yep. Say, you wouldn't have a drink on you, partner. He, yes. He drinks it, obviously. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Ah, that's right, fine of you, stranger. Fine person indeed. Kind of man should have as his partner. Gulp, did I ever tell you about the time I made my big strike? No. Salt Beef says, it was back in 78 when me and Bessie best bought a man ever had. We was uranium prospect in west of here. We hadn't turned up a rad's worth of beans 
when all of a sudden five, no, I'm sure it was ten, death claws jumped us. He continues, they fought like hellcats. I fired so much I melted down my rifle barrel and was going out of knife to claw when old Bessie finally fused her last circuit board. Well, I tried to save her, but it weren't no use. Finally had to cut and run, keeping him off with rocks all the way. He keeps going. Well, things looked bad when I stumbled into this cave. Thought I was a goner for sure. Figured it was their lair, but I had me torch, so I went inside. Hoo-wee! It was a deep cave, and that's when I saw it. It was a great big door, like the kinds you see in old video flicks. Big and made of steel, and on it was carved a great big 13. He says, I knew I found it. The mother load. The vault 13. I sat right down and made me a map. Dang near died getting it out of there. Past them death claws, and then the sun of the desert and no water. He says, by the time I staggered into Shady Sands, I was mostly dead. Took me to the dock and fixed me up, but that dock stole my map. I knows it, and that's what I, all I got to say. Okay. <laughs> well, there's a doctor that has Old Salt Beef's Fault 13 map. So we're gonna we're gonna get to that in a little while. But we have another interesting encounter to 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 uh, uh, encounter. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> an encounter to encounter next. The man at the door says, What can I do for you, stranger? The sheriff told me to come by. It says Mr. Weston might have a job for me. He says, Dumont, eh? Well, that's good enough for me. Mr. Weston's inside. Okay. Well, using the sheriff's name has its benefits. I have a sheriff with me, too. Sheriff Marcus. Maybe they should hang out. Maybe I should force them into a friendship and make them drinking buddies. Maybe we could do that. He says, I'm Roger Weston, and you can't come barging in here. What do you want? I'm here about a job. He says, that all? Talk to my foreman, Felix. Uh, the sheriff suggested I come talk to you personally. First name basis again. Dumont recommended you? Well, that's good enough for me. Something or someone has been raiding my Brahmin at night. I need to find out what's up. How about going out there and looking into it for me? I'll pay you for your trouble. Sounds like easy work. I'll do it. Weston says, excellent. Felix will guide you out there. Now, if you'll excuse me. He'll get back to staring at his wall from his desk <laughs> with his bad heart. Uh, Felix, the ranch foreman. He says, done with your meeting? Yeah, he said something about a problem with the Brahmin. Felix replies, right. Someone or something has been killing the Brahmin on the West Pasture. I'll take you out there and you take care of it. Let's go. All right. And here we are. The <laughs> this area was not meant to have this much screen. Anyway. Wow, sure is boring. Hope something something happens. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna move over here in the middle of the middle of the Brahmin. Look at the time. So boring. Oh wait a minute. Look, human guard Brahmin. Gruthard, say we go, no hurt human. What the heck? Talking death claws, that's weird. <laughs> And that's what I needed to do. Can I tip the Brahmin? Another place where I can't tip the Brahmin. Come on, Fallout 2. You're better than this. All Brahmin should be tippable. So say is Cato. Okay, I was, I was right at the New California Republic. Uh... Well, I need to wait through nighttime anyway to talk to Merc because I carried out his assassination. That's interesting that I can go to other places in town while it's nighttime. That might cause the guards to freak out, though, so I'm not going to do that. But I am going to talk to Merc. All the same. Hello, Merc. Let me speak to you, sir. He says, you again. I'm looking for some information. Forget it. Uh. I did the job for him. But he's not interesting. He's not letting me speak to him about the the hobologist I assassinated, even though I did get the experience for it. So maybe I maybe I broke his quest entirely. That's fine. That's just fine. We'll rest until morningish. Go speak to Mr. Weston once more. After we check with Doc Jubilee and see what he knows about the map. He says he knows 
Uh, Salt Beef says he knows that, that the doctor took it from him. Let me speak to speak to the doc. Uh, there's a Salt Beef fellow who says he stole a map from him. What's the deal? The doc says, that old drunk. Only thing I ever got from him was my Velvet LV painting in lieu of cash. Velvet LV, can I see it? He says, well, it was really hoping to get some money for it. I'll let it go for $10,000. Wow. Okay, maybe later? Uh, I'm looking for a job. Okay, never mind. Uh, does he have it on him? I'm just gonna check. He does not. Is it in here? Vial of poison. Those meds are for Mr. Weston, not you. Put them back. No. <laughs> Got a vial of poison for Weston. Just in case. Let's see what I can do to, to, to register that the... The herbologist is dead. I mean, they're they're gone. Their body is gone. Hmm. May have messed up things with Merc. Okay, so one of our options is to have 10,000 bucks or gold or whatever. Wasteland buckaroonies to get the Velvet Elvis painting that has the map to Vault 13 on the back of it. That's a real. That, he got some really expensive work done at the doctor to to want to sell me for the doctor to sell me back the painting for that much. Those words were pretty hard to say. <laughs> but let's talk to Weston. He says, "See you again. What do you want, uh, Mr. Weston? About your Brahm Brahmin problem? Looks like all you've got to do is post a man out there. You don't even have to do anything. Just be there. I know it sounds weird, but it'll work." You mentioned some pay? Weston says, I'm not sure I believe you, but here's your pay. Heck, if you've been lying, my boys will find you. I also said I'd give you some information, so here it is. I've heard a lot of stories about Tandy and the Vault Dweller. Seems he saved her life years ago before the NCR was even founded. Anyway, legend has it that he spent a lot of time exploring a vault east of here. If that isn't Vault 13, then maybe you'll find a clue there that will lead you to it. Okay, so what he's leading me to is Vault 15. Which, if you recall, we're going back back in time to Fallout 1. Uh, east of Shady Sands was Vault 15. West of Shady Sands was Vault 13. So we're still trying to get that location unlocked. But we know where it is. Um, those of us who, you know, were there for the Fallout 1 playthrough, that is. Um, okay, I am ready to leave. Thank you. Thank you, guard. Take your sweet little time. I know you're getting paid by the hour. Or something. I don't know. I don't know how they're how they're being paid, honestly. How their guards are being compensated. Uh, that's above my pay grade. Uh, so now, oh, maybe Merc won't talk to me because I, I became a ranger. I wonder if that's it. That might be it. Um, let's double check with this this merchant dude really quick here. I have I think I have a few more things to trade. I have an extra power fist. Yeah. And I believe Sulik has some things on him still. No, I'm a liar. That's that's good enough. Yeah. Grenades and energy cells. Just what the body needs. OK, we are on our way. To Vault 15, because that's where Tandy asked us to go. I kind of just glossed over that dialogue without acknowledging it verbally, and I apologize for that. Uh, Tandy has tasked Tandy task this team of Turbo uh, t t titular Tom Thomases <laughs> to take care of the Vault 15 situation. There's squatters there. They're causing problems. We're going to deal with it. That's what we're going to do. Two Vault 15. It's right next door. Oh, it's nighttime. Rest till daytime. There we go. Whoa! What? <laughs> Excuse me? 
<laughs> Dang, I hate it with that. <laughs> he just fell over and got back up. That was weird. That was very strange. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to offload a couple of things in here really quick. I might have my grenades out too, just for funsies. Just, just for the heck of it. Because there is some fighting that's going to be happening. So let's talk to this gentleman. Special thanks to my Wasteland Legends, Sven and David Hoover, and thanks to the rest of my patrons on screen now. You can catch future episodes of this playthrough on Wednesdays and Fridays, noon and 10 a.m. Pacific. Thanks for watching. I'm Kato Genesis, and may you wander the wasteland like you own it.